It's a gala premiere of Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Well, this has been a hugely successful three-parter here. Um, last time we saw Manny and Ellie falling in love. This time they're having a baby and won't waste any time there. Um, we're going to be here interviewing some of the celebrity guests, visiting with their families. Um, keep here at LSQ TV. Who were you rooting for um, in the finals? I was, um, I, I was looking forward to uh, Stamos Fatley, I would say. And, um, Quite an unusual act. Yeah. What about them? Do you keep in touch with any of the people um, you met there? Um, yeah, yeah. I, um, I've uh, made loads of friends as well with um, yeah, all the people there. So, they, so you're looking forward to the film today then, yeah? Yeah, really. What, um, who would you say you're most like a character-wise in Ice Age? You could say you were like one. Um, I would say I'm more like Sid because I'm really clumsy. <laughs> I'm a clumsy one, yeah. Um, enjoy the film today. Congratulations, well done. Thanks. Uh, happy to be here then, yeah? Yeah, I'm really happy. Yeah. Tell us, um, what is it about Ice Age that makes it so popular, do you think? The I squirrel. Think, yeah, the, squir <laughs> the little squirrel looking. It looks he, like a ferret. looks like my ferret. He's making like, another appearance in search for that elusive nut, doesn't he? Yeah, I think oh, yeah. so. I think it wouldn't be Ice Age without that. He's got a girlfriend now, hasn't he? Yeah, a bit of a love interest. Now that Manny's got Ellie now, he's got a bit of a love interest. Yeah, yeah. And um, what have you guys got coming up next? Um, um, we're filming, starting filming the next series really soon, in like summer, in a couple of weeks. Good. So when can we expect that? January. Um, I'm, I think January, but I'm not exact. I'm not, they haven't told us yet. So. More kind of out there storylines for you then? I think they well, we they haven't been told, told us anything really about it. Know. But they like, haven't told me. Literally when we go for the read through, I think next week or something, isn't it? We'll be in as much sort of surprise about the script and stuff as anyone else. Because they haven't told us anything about it. So. Say you were given the chance to voice um, an animated character, what would you be and oh, why? Wow. You mean something on Ice Age or anything? I want to be a hippo. And would you do it together though? Or would it be two separate ones? We sound too similar. We, we do. Yeah, we might not be able to tell us that to your part. I'd like to do something for um for American Dad. You know, American Dad yeah, yeah. would do. Because that's my favourite. And you're a hippo. Yeah, anything with a hippo in it, really. Yeah. Excellent. Enjoy the film. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks. What is it about Ace Age you think that um, appeals to the children these days? Oh, it's, just, it's, it's, it's the comedy. It's all the different characters. I mean, kids love animals. and Talking animals, and uh, I think I say is man I say is manages to blend the kind of the comedy with the uh, characterisation. So I think that's what's important. And the fact that it's 3D as well. I can't wait. I can't wait to get the glasses on. I'm very excited about this. I've heard so much about this whole new 3D stuff. And uh, back Seems in my back in the old days, a comeback, doesn't it? Like this whole kind of 3D. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Well, I said back in the old days, it was like the blue, red, and the blue and the red thing. You know, <laughs> the really cheap glasses. Now they're all high tech and. And uh, you can take them home, so I'm looking forward to it. Do that. you um, remember your first cinematic experience as a child? I do. I went to the Jungle Book with my dad, and uh, I, I, I remember being uh, kind of blown away by it. I thought it was a great experience. Yeah. So what have you um, got coming up? Um, I'm playing uh, Nelson Mandela in a film, which will be out uh, soon, and um, and then who knows? It's like kept busy though. I have been here for yeah, about yeah, a year, yeah. Yeah, so it's grinding to a halt now, so uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll be nice to get a bit of a, a, bit of a breather. Are you looking forward to um, the film today? Looking forward to it? Are you a big um, Ice Age fans? Yeah, I've watched number one and two, and it looks good. Yeah, it's in the wall. And this is going to be a 3D one as well. So you get a, get a chance to put the 3D glasses on. Have you seen many um, 3D films? I don't think I've seen one. So this will be your first 3D experience, so hopefully they'll give you the, the glasses to put on as well. So um, are you the buddy today to look after them? Yeah. What, what, are you, what are you most looking forward to about um, this film? Seeing what they're going to do with it really, like what, what's the storyline going to be. So you've seen all the, the, the other two ones, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. I'm quite excited to see what the squirrel does with his nut. <laughs> <laughs> well he's, apparently he's got a little brain to help him this time. So you never know, he might, uh, might get them. He's looking very smart in his, uh, his shirt. You're looking very smart today. Is he looking forward to it? Yeah? Good. So have a good time today. Thanks. Thank you. Have you seen the, uh, the past two um, Ice Age films? Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen the first one, uh, definitely. But I'm not sure if I've seen the second one. I think I have, but not sure. And this one's obviously going to be 3D as well. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't realise. I looked on the uh, invitation. I didn't realise it was a... Uh, was 3D, but that should be good. You had a chance to see many of the 3D films, or...? Uh, yeah, I've seen uh, the Jonas Brothers one. Uh, I went with um, Maddie, who's, who's yeah. in East End as well. And uh, so yeah, you get to wear the pretty cool glasses. They're better than what they used to be, the old glasses. Yeah, exactly. yeah, but... They're more trendy, yeah. 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 Um, what can we expect um, coming up in East Enders, storyline-wise? 
Um, I'm not sure. I've, I've just finished my exams. I, I had my last exam last Thursday, so I've finished school totally now. Uh, so I guess uh, I'm free to do whatever they want me to do, really. Um, I'm not sure. I think I think Lauren and Peter have a bit of a tough time ahead, and and then perhaps like good times ahead. So I'm not sure. So how long do we have to wait until the exam results come out then? Oh, until the exam results. Ho hopefully never. <laughs> but, uh, no, I don't know. I, I hope they go right. Um, Feeling confident? Yeah, I am. But it's just I, I was busy and stuff, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, th I think it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be Thanks, enjoy the film. Uh, you seemed a bit mesmerised by the jugglers behind you. We like, what an entrance, they're on a, early on a Sunday morning, the boys giving it their stuff and I thought they were very good. You like you, the boys? Yeah, they're really good. Are you as entertaining as that? Uh, say it again. Are you as entertaining no as that? No way. <laughs> no, 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 I'm very good at judging, I'm not always good at actually entertaining myself. So you're looking forward to the film today, yeah? Really looking forward to it. I brought my nephews years ago to the very first one when they were little. And uh, well, you should say what you think of it. Um, well, the first one was great, but I think this one's going to be better because it's in 3D. Maybe. Yeah, so you'll get the, the 3D glasses that um, sit on the whole time. You had a chance to see any other 3D films this year? Um, um, well, not really. I've seen films which can be in 3D, but I didn't watch like them. Like Coraline. Them. Yeah. yeah. We watched Coraline um, last month, but that was in 3D. Really but good, it's yeah? still a good film. So who are you looking forward to seeing today in the show? It's always um, Probably um, Simon Pegg, because I want to see the new character. Yeah, yeah, and they've all seemed to have little um, girlfriends as well. Manny's got Ellie. Uh, what was said? Will he find anybody eventually? Um, probably not. <laughs> is, is anybody daft enough to end up with Sid? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. We'll have to see. But you never know with Ice Age. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the thing. What about an Ice Age four? Should we keep on going? Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they should, but I, I think they might run out of ideas. There you go. There we are. You see. There, yeah. Critics in the making at 11 years of age. <laughs> they've already done. Um, they've already done the actual ice age, and they've done cavemen. They've done dinosaurs. Yeah. So ne uh, next, they might. They might do like the meteor, but that might be in this film. So. Yeah, maybe. A scriptwriter in the future, I think. Yeah. Listen, guys, enjoy the film. Thank you very much for stopping to us. Thank you. What do you think the, the best thing about um, ice age is for the children? Well, that's a very profound question. <laughs> I suspect you're right. <laughs> but, you know, um, as much as you say it is the best thing, I love uh, the, the cartoons. I love it, you know. I'm uh, a great fan, and uh, I'll be watching it as much as any, as, as any of the little munchkins. Are you still continuing with the, uh, the old skating? The skating is continuing, uh, so it's very appropriate I'm here on Ice Age. I'm uh, doing some uh, ice skating shows over the summer with Kieran Bracken and uh, doing some ice skating o over the winter, so I'm keeping those uh, very dodgy ice skating manoeuvres still going. So you're going to get the 3D glasses on now then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy the film, thank you. Pleasure, thank you very much. Bye.